Super Mario Odyssey, we are here for the second video inside of Lost Kingdom, and in this video we will be getting, I think, five or six more moons, which will allow us to leave the planet, or the kingdom, or whatever the heck we're on, finally, because this is a fun place, but let's get the heck out of this so we can get past the story stalling and finally get to Metro Kingdom, which we all want to see, because that's what it was in the trailers, and that's a pretty cool place, even though I don't like jazz music, and man, there's a lot of jazz music. Anyway, that's a complaint for a completely separate channel. Anyway, once we go into the shop, of course, to, or of course, remember that you can buy a power moon from the shop, so that's a good free moon you can get for, I think, 100 coins. Then you can take a look at some of the souvenirs here. So we've collected 21 coins so far. There's only 50 on this kingdom. And you can buy the aviator outfit if you so desire. Not really a big reason to. I don't think there's anything in this kingdom that wants you to have that. Then I decide to finally get out of the snorkeling equipment and go back to Mario's traditional wear. So that's good for us. And there's also this salamander guy, whatever gecko flying. I have no idea what he is. Some kind of lizard. But if you put your hat on him, oh yeah, there's a moon right above uh, this tree here. Don't miss that. If you put your hat on him, you can actually glide to various places around the kingdom here. So if you're coming back later to find all of the moons, that is a very helpful feature, being able to fly around and just see anything that you want. You can glide, you just hold B to glide. I don't think I do it in this video at all, actually. Uh, there's also a butterfly. It looks like I'm gonna head on over to this guy. So once you're about halfway onto this little platform, if you swing your hat and hit the butterfly before it sees you, you'll be able to get yet another moon. So that's kind of cool. Three moons right from the start right there. We only need two more. I think I get a little bit more than are required because some of them are just so accessible there's really no reason not to. And this one, this takes me a couple of tries, so I could probably cut this out. In fact, I should cut this out, but man, I'm gonna keep them all in because that's just how I am. So you need to hit all of these flowers and get them all open in four attempts, but if you mess it up, then that's all gonna go away and you're gonna have to... Uh, basically just <laughs> do it all over again. And it's not actually four attempts, I believe this is timed. So that took me... Is it timed? I think it's timed, yep. Okay, well, I'm not actually too sure now. I thought I would know this by now, but I'm not too sure. It's either, it's either timed, or you have to do it perfectly in four tries, or you have to do it in the correct order. I think it's just timed though, because I don't think there's a specific order for this, so... Those, okay, yeah, it's just timed. No, no, this is definitely timed. So finally, there we go, I get it. You just have to do them all four of them very quickly. Finally, I get it. My goodness, see that... I don't know what was so weird about that. that. That even took me a while to get just playing it. And even now I'm still like, what are you supposed to do? I don't know. But anyway, we're going to walk on in here. There's a couple more hidden purple coins. Yay for us. I also think we can find Takatu or Squawkatu or whatever he is. There he is sitting right there. He's a, in a little bit of a precarious spot. So he's kind of annoying to get to. But he can still be a little bit helpful. Let's see what he gives us here. Get some rest, Captain Toad. So that really doesn't help us find Captain Toad, you know, because we know, if, yes, there is a Captain Toad star in every single kingdom, almost, but, man, Squawkatoo, it's like, that doesn't help me find where he is, but anyway, he is way on the other side of the island from where I'm standing right now. I don't get him in this video because there's no real reason to. There are way easier stars to get, or moons. Man, I keep calling them stars. And here I'm just kind of looking around seeing are there any more easily accessible moons that I can get a hold of? And the answer is pretty much no. I'm gonna have to actually try for these next ones. So if we come down here, I think this is where I finally drop down. Once I decide to stop looking around. I mean, I, ar I already fell into that area, which we can see there's those five moon pieces, so... I know for sure there's a moon over there, and if we come down here, nicely, this saved the one piece I collected earlier, uh, we can find a few more coins that we can get if you don't commit suicide like I did. Like, I'm telling you, the controls for those caterpillars <laughs> was definitely one of the weirder parts for this game at first. As soon as I got used to the controls, it was fine. Took me forever for some reason to figure out that you're supposed to push Y for them to work, and I already knew that, but just the muscle memory for some reason wanted me to jump out of those guys, so I'm like, okay, let's not do that again, let's jump on back down here, take the hat off of this caterpillar, move into him again, and then I think I go and get those coins, or maybe I just come right over here and get the... Okay, well I get those coins, but I'm at the purple ones. Uh, looks like I don't get that... 
Yeah, okay, I don't get the checkpoint quite yet. I do get a moon that's over there in the checkpoint area, so we will be getting that soon here. But I'm just looking around this tree, seeing if there's anything else. I don't think there's anything more that way that I'm really too interested in. And then I decide to come over here and get these moon pieces. There is a little bit easier of a moon to get if you go to that checkpoint area, but the option is up to you. So we'll just use this guy to get on the platforms, uh, accordion yourself on over once you land on them, and then you can move on inside of here, grab that moon piece move on out here so you can move back into the area of the fuzzies man i hate fuzzies and we're going to be getting the moon piece that is being kind of protected by that caterpillar right now you can get on over there from this i think maybe you can it looks like you can uh it's a little bit easier if you go onto that platform that's right to the right there with the fuzzies but it also requires a little bit more timing so i decided okay i can't really reach that yet i probably could have right now do i yep okay there we go so I just to wait a second, now I have to look around and try to find the fifth uh, moon piece, which is somewhere that I am not looking at. I know I find it because I know I got this moon, so all I have to do is wait for my first playthrough self to locate it. I think it's right over here. Yep, there it is. Had no idea it was there. I just thought, hmm, maybe I'll go look. But anyway, there it is. It's hiding behind the tree there, so just get it that way. <laughs> And then now you gotta head on back. So I don't know if the moon stays if you die or not. I would expect that it does because this game saved my uh, moon piece from earlier. So I expect that that would stay there. But anyway, try to get back there without dying. And now if you followed all the moons that I collected, you should have enough to leave this kingdom and continue on your way with the story mode. But we're gonna wait just a little bit, get a few more things. As I said in the previous video, there is no boss in this kingdom to worry about, so all we really are doing is just collecting moons and coins. But uh, all we need are 10 to continue on, and there are two moons here that you may as well grab. I mean, they're pretty easy to get, so this is another 2D location, and all you have to do is wait for the platform to move on over and dodge the fuzzies, of course. There's a couple of coins, I think, inside of that box that the fuzzies go up and down under, but it's just kind of overly risky to hit that for no real gain so I don't really recommend that although for all I know there is a uh, another three heart container thing inside of there that gives you three extra health so I don't actually know uh, anyway to get that other moon we're gonna want to play it safe and grab one of these caterpillars then we can move on back here and get onto the platform it is completely possible to do this without a caterpillar but it is just a little bit easier if you use one when you run into that, you can get a bunch of coins, which it's always good to get coins because you can never have too many coins in this game. Especially after you beat this game, you're going to be begging to get more and more coins. Now, luckily, there are some ways of getting a ton of coins rather quickly, which I may upload a video or two of those, but we'll see. So anyway, just head on back now that we have more than enough power moons that we need, and you don't actually have to walk back. I think I do just to kind of get a better look at the kingdom, but you can just warp on back right now if you want to. Or no, okay, looks like I warp on back. Alrighty, and I also saw all those coins there. Is that where the coins I'm missing are? I need to go check there now. Huh, okay. I'm missing three coins on this kingdom right now, so that might be where they're hiding. <laughs> I don't think I got them there. Alrighty. Anyway, that'll be it for this video. We'll be continuing on in the next one where we finally head on over to Metro Kingdom, which will be yet another very lengthy kingdom, but also an extremely fun one. So that is it for now, and I will see you in the next video.
ございます。